You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. 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 Watch Nollywood Pictures TV. Did you subscribe? Subscribe. 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 We will be happy. Subscribe now. I had nearly ruined everything for us. How do you mean? You see, are you not seeing what I am seeing? Okay. This marriage of us, Nachito, the Oracle, is actually a blessing that is coming to the family that we didn't see all this while. <laughs> is it not just for us to dress so Sinashi to look like a queen? We are rich with Ufu Abego. I can tell you that this is how money will continue to come to our family. When Usinashi is finally married to the Oracle. Yeah, yeah, they are one name. Taking Usinachi to the Oracle Square may not be a problem. Adorning and dressing her, you know Usinachi. It is possible she may not agree. Is she here? Usinachi is not going to resist this marriage. Like you don't know the Osinachi we are talking about. If he leaves me to handle Osinachi, uh -huh. this marriage of Osinachi to the Oracle is a blessing to the family. And we have to do everything possible to make it work. Uh -huh. Then they could go to Patagonia. And so what are you doing? Come and you go, 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 know who I was talking about. I, mean, I told him I was looking for Injakali, a hunter from this village. Stop asking too many questions. And don't give me the impression that you're looking down on those noble women that brought you here. In Ukehe, we do not look down on people. And as long as you're here, it will be appreciated if you behave like one of us. You talk with so much excessive authority. Who are you? No, I'm sorry, please. Do, do not let my question offend you. My name is Chiege. The injakli you're looking for is one of the great men here in Ukehe. He has an outstanding fellowship. 
and he has never looked down on anyone. Um, I'm sorry, please. Do not misunderstand me. I'm not from this village and I wonder why I was brought here. Ah, they brought you here because this is your destination. Jacqueline is my elder brother. Why are you looking for him? You are his kid sister. Yes. Oh! Why then are you a darling royalty? <laughs> I am not going to ask you if you're one of the members of the royalty because I know all the members of the royalty of this kingdom. I don't understand. Why is your entire house looking like royalty? <laughs> I am adorned in royalty because royalty is in the mind. Could you please tell me why you're looking for my brother? Please, how can I find a Jackie? He has gone to hunt. Is he going to come back today? Um, he won't be back until after four market days. Please, guys, stay back and wait for me. The Oracle of the Land is taking a new wife tomorrow, and I'm one of the maidens that I've been asked to attend. And so I'm sorry, I can't leave you here, because firstly, I do not know you. And secondly, I can't leave a stranger here while I attend the marriage of the Oracle. The marriage ceremony for the Oracle. Is your brother not going to attend it? <laughs> Jacqueline, my brother has a habit. And that is one of the reasons people respect him. He doesn't attend an occasion without being invited. And so to answer your question, no, he won't be attending the marriage because he wasn't invited. I met your brother just once. And he did leave a lasting impression about himself on me. And you have just done so. Now I know it flows in the blood. <laughs> Thank you for those nice words. This is your father. That loves you so much. Ever since your mother died, he has refused to be married to any other woman. Because he wouldn't want any woman to come between both of you. Can we ever find love as strong as that? And he told me in confidence that if you are set to be married, that he's going to consider marrying another woman. And I sincerely think you should give this a consideration. Accept to be married to the oracle so that your father can be free to marry again. I'm not asking you to do this for me. Don't do it for me. Don't even do it for yourself. But please, do it for your father. Is that what my family wants from me? Nothing, man. Biko. Biko. See it as a blessing. Biko. You are going to be royalty. You will have the best of everything in this kingdom. Yes. One, Biko. See, all eyes are on us. Do it for this family. Mum, be good. Do it for us. <laughs> See, she's going now. She hasn't said anything. You said you're going to handle this. Look at her going in. <laughs> she listened to everything we said. 
on your ballon kete. Well, I put. For how long are we going to wait? Uh, uh, when is the priest coming? Behold, here is the priest of Elulu Shrine. Ha! Huh. Old one! I am happy to finally see you. Please, you are the priest of Elulu. Make it easier for me, please. I see the future. I see hope. Regrettably, I see the past. You are in the midst. This is the original information you ignored. And now, you must marry the dead maiden before you will be qualified to marry the living one. Hold oh, on, oh, 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 please. I, I, I'm so confused. Uh, uh, what do you mean by marry the dead maiden? Her name is Amuma, the daughter of Okeko Fozo. They are not living very far from here. And the parents are all alive. You must marry her, bury her, mourn her like a wife after all you come back here to be cleansed note that you will never marry any other woman in your life if you don't abide by this instruction oh old one my father told me that communication with the dead is witchcraft and warned me never to get involved in any act of witchcraft or he will kill me your father's advice has nothing for silver to do with the death you triggered she was an active woman with beautiful plans but you ruined all her plans now you must have to do all that i have just told you and you must do it now now We are gathered here under the full moon for you to present your daughter to the oracle. We cannot proceed without your blessing to her as a father.
the families agreed on this. I therefore present your hand to the oracle as wife, with my blessings as your father. It shall be well. Thank you. This is the symbol of authority for all the women ever married by the oracle. This mirror will show you everything evil that will happen before they happen. I know you shall have a fruitful reign as the wife of the oracle. Is the symbol that confirms you are the wife of the oracle. With this fan alone, you can become a seer. Make it all the money you can think of. Nothing shall ever be hidden from you. Try and guard it with jealousy. Don't allow it to fall on the ground again. What is the meaning of this? I know exactly what the meaning is. This maiden has been freed by the moon. She is not the wife of the oracle. And we cannot make her the wife because she is already freed by the moon. With all due respect, Obuefo Kolocha, I heard clearly from the oracle. He said, Osinachi, daughter of Ichiu Gonabo, of Uzuno village. And here is Osinachi standing right before us. I have not said anything that suggests I doubt what you had. The greater truth is that the moon is mightier than the oracle. And that is why the oracle waits for the full moon to take her wife. The oracle needs the blessing of the moon because he knows his wife is nothing without the moon. Right before our eyes, the moon has freed this maiden because her heart is somewhere else. Let the oracle name another maiden and we can give the fan to that new maiden. Your Majesty, surely we cannot ignite the wrath of the moon by insisting on Osnaji. She has been freed and she is free. This is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Marriage to the oracle is the best thing that can happen to any maiden. Why have you rejected the oracle in your heart? I shall be back when you have named a new maiden, hoping that the next maiden will not inject Yoraku in her heart. Could this be commotion in the land of the spirits?
the more I think of what happened at the village square, the more I am convinced that we are responsible for our humiliation. You see, how could you say that? How are we responsible for the humiliation? How? If we had stood our ground, what happened would not have happened. Now my worry is this. Osinachi, my daughter, will never find a man that will marry her. Why? Osinachi is one of the most beautiful maidens in this kingdom. And there are men littered in this kingdom that will actually love to marry her. I believe that when one door closes, another door must surely open. Even most times, better doors. Anenetelo, listen to me. Do you know the implications of what happened? What happened? What, what implications? Now, listen. The oracle rejected a woman. Anene. Who will marry a woman rejected by the oracle? Onyega Anoya! My worry in all of this is this. Why will all this be happening to my family? Why will it happen to my only daughter? Why? Kusinachi, why didn't you tell me that you were the maiden that was appointed for the oracle? Even if I did, what would you have done? I've been fighting a big battle within myself. I knew I was never ready for marriage. And I kept wondering how I was going to cope. Eventually, when I tried to give in to all these things, and you saw what happened today. It was a total disaster. No matter what happens, don't give up on yourself. There's nothing the world can ever do to salvage a maiden that gives up on herself. I saw what happened today. And I know how you feel right now. But don't see this as the end of the world. For what lies ahead is greater than what you've seen. Ponder on these words. Go into your room and sleep, okay? I'll come again within the week to see you. Please. Promise me that you would never tell your brother that I was the maiden that was rejected. Please. Is there anything that you're not telling me? Ever since I came in here this morning, you have been weak. Is it because the oracle rejected the maiden? The incompetent oracle priest wanted to force down his throat. How could you, Iwose? How could you refer to a way few feeling? as an incompetent priest of the oracle. How could you? His incompetency showed at the square last night. The priest 
gave the secret fund to the beautiful maiden of Ozono. And the oracle rejected her. Do you know what that means? It means that the chief priest chose the wrong maiden. And why would the chief priest choose the wrong maiden? It's because he's incompetent. He's very incompetent. This is a man of whom I work in them. What's he doing, Mokwele? I told you that I will break all odds and pay you a visit, you know, Kwele. Finally, I am here. Now, I want you to dismiss your left tenants because I want to talk to you alone. Never! Mm -hmm. You are violating the laws of the land by entering this kingdom. Mudakrewa is the leader of our youth. And there is no way we will let you talk to him alone. Yes. Permit me to finish this man. I love to be left with this man alone. Who wounds it? to maintain your stand. But I'm pleading with you, Nachi. R remember all we shared together. The oath, the love we nursed. I'm pleading with you. Let us forget the past and move ahead. Move ahead? Move ahead to what? You know, as man and wife. I heard you raped a maiden. And that she eventually ended up killing her own self. How? How do you think I'm supposed to get married to a man like that? How? How? <sighs> Nachi, I have completed all the necessary ritual that I'm supposed to do to be free and marry again. I hurried everything because of you. Listen, I even heard of the rejection by the gods. And I knew you would never be happy about it. I was glad, Nachi. Nachi, you know why it happened? It happened because our ancestors want us to live together. Please, Nachi, I am pleading with you. I am. Please. See, I, I almost got ruined. Everything was just working against me using maidens. But I have overcome all that. I'm a new man now, Nachi. A new man. And I'm ready to have a wife. Nachi, you are that wife. Please forgive me. I'm pleading with you. I, I, I have to be very sincere with you. You're getting me all confused. How can you say that you are the one who stopped the marriage of the maiden to the oracle? Please, don't, don't think or, or feel that I am underestimating you. But who are you to do that? <laughs> Ask your sister and she will tell you what happened. Away of your culture, the present wise man in your kingdom, who advises the king on the issues of customs and tradition, said that the marriage was stopped by the moon. You people call us the children of the moon. Umuawa. It is not just an ordinary name. We are actually the children of the moon. I asked the moon to stop the marriage, and that was exactly what she did. She descended to wise 
and knocked off the symbol of authority from her hands. <laughs> Well, let me assume that you actually got the moon to do that. But why would you do that? Do you even know the maiden they wanted to give to the oracle? I I know she's a, a maiden from Uzauna village, but I do not know her. <laughs> no, my boy, you got it all wrong. You know her. You have discussed with her. You have even advised her. And right as I'm sitting with you here, she's the one right inside your heart. I don't know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> that maiden is the best. And that was why the oracle wanted to take her. I used the moon to stop the marriage because that is the only way I can pay you for saving my life. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're living. <laughs> That maiden is the best in Okwele Kingdom. You are also the best. You deserve the best. And nothing but the best. Go for her. My dear sister, can you tell me what a wave your culture said about the moon during the aborted marriage? Why are you so curious about what the wise man said? I am curious because the man from Umongwa, who just left here now, said some things that triggered a lot of sensations. He said you heard the man. Tell me, my dear sister. You cannot hide anything from me. What did the man say? I'm going to repeat his exact words. The moon is mightier than the oracle. And that's why the oracle waits for the full moon to take a wife. The oracle needs the blessing of the moon because he knows without the moon, his wife is nothing. Right before our eyes, the moon has freed this maiden because her heart is somewhere else. Those were his words, and even the king got confused. Who is this maiden? Who is she? I'm sorry, my brother, but I can't answer that. Uh, my, 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 my dear sister, Chiege Quinante, why are you doing this to me? Why would you want to leave? What is it that you're not telling me? Promise me that you would never tell your brother that I was the maiden that was rejected. Talk to me. I promised her not to tell you. Why are you pushing me? My dear sister Chige Kunante, remember all the risks I have taken for you. Those I'm yet to take. Talk to me. Tell me. Who is this maiden? Osinachi of Uzono. The same Osinachi that came looking for you. She was the one selected to be the wife of the Oracle. But the moon stopped the marriage. This is exactly what she feared you would do. If you get to know she was the one. She forced me to promise not to tell you. But I finally did because I know my brother is a warrior. 
Njakili, do not betray me. They said she was the best. But I deserve the best. <laughs> you know, do you know why I'm excited? Atwara, mm. my friend, just at the time I was thinking that the gods and ancestors of this land have abandoned me. Atwara. They are now smiling at me. Lenum. Individual, <laughs> <laughs> my good friend. Huh? This kind of excitement is not ordinary. Tell me. Tell me what happened. I am getting married. You are getting married? <laughs> to who? Onyekwan. Osinachi! <laughs> See, she is the wife the gods and ancestors of this land prepared for me. Eh? That was why they stopped her marriage to the oracle. Atora, listen to me. Listen to me. See, tomorrow, I want you to accompany me to Ozuno for the marriage. See, all my frustrations will all be over tomorrow. Oh, Henry Meginish. How? Are you okay? Don't tell me you are insane. No, go on, me, she, she. Huh? Listen, that maiden knows that you're a rapist. No, no, no. At yes, at you're at a rapist. Atwara. And a murderer too. Atwara. There is no way she would get married to someone like you. Atwara. 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 Listen to me. Please get that thing out of your mind. Get it out of your mind. You no longer have right to call me any of those names. I have performed all the necessary uh, uh, rituals needed for my cleansing and I'm free. Listen. Even the dreaded Elulu priest wished me success in life. Look, I, I know, see, Atura, let us just keep our problems, uh, our differences, let's just keep them in the past. You are my only friend and I just want you to accompany me to Ozuno tomorrow. Look, my friend, you have to forget about that trip. What? Just just yesterday, I was talking with Adama. Oh. And I found out that that girl is still in love What's with it? you. She loves you. I'm telling you. Atura, See, see, why are you talking about Adam? See, I have reconciled with us in Achi. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Our Dhamma uh -huh. is the devil we already know. Wise people would choose her over us in Achi. Mm. That so called angel of uh, Uzono that we don't even know yet. I hear you. Forget about that meeting of Uzono that has already been connected with the Oracle. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and Maria Adam. She loves you very much and she can do anything. She's ready to die for you any day, anytime. <laughs> quote me. I'm your good friend. Quote me anywhere. Hey, Agogo. Uh, listen, listen. It's obvious she, she sent you to tell me this. Go and tell her that she cannot get me. Did you hear me? Listen, Atora, leave all this Adama thing. I want you to accompany me to Uzuno tomorrow and witness the marriage between, you know, the love of my life and I. What are we talking about? I should be asking you that too. Oh, <laughs> yeah.
Who are you? <laughs> My name is Njakele. Njakele Nili Onyujo of Ukehe. I have come to take Osinachi home as my wife. Okay. <laughs> 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 The moon had promised to give me the best maiden in Okwele Kingdom as my wife. Osinachi is the best maiden. <laughs> And that is why the moon refused to have her tied to the oracle. Um, please, let us obey the moon. Amen. I don't understand what this man is saying. Me too. My daughter is expecting a suitor from uh, Umuako village. Ndubizu. Ibutanya. Ndubizu is the man we are waiting for. So I don't understand. Uh, can you go and call me your late wife's sister? Sit boy and our here she comes. Now, can you tell us what your late sister told you about the man that would marry her daughter? He must be a man that has massive respect among men and one to whom people pay homage. Hey, she was I don't know. Jacqueline, you know, you know, you know, is the man she saw. He has all his followers, and men that pay homage to him. He is right when he said that the moon stopped the marriage because of him. He came prepared, as we see, and is ready to fulfill all marriage rights. So, he must be allowed to marry his wife. What are we going to do? Yeah, she comes. There's a man of Fuke. He has come. He claims that uh, he is the man that must marry you. I don't know him. Imonyo. I don't know him. Never seen him before. But our sage here, Obuefi Okolocha, has affirmed what he said. I called you here to ask you. In front of all of us here. Do you know him? Imunyobu. I know him. <laughs> uh -oh. 
I've been waiting for him for so long to make this move. He's mm. the one that my heart wants. He's the one I want to get married to. Oh, <laughs> Um. Jacqueline, you know, you job, okay? I get her. I give her to you as a wife. Go and discuss with the family and fulfill all necessary rights. <laughs> 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 She is your wife. Huh? Go home with her and marry her. We are all wishing you a happy married life.
I want him. Mm. Can you remember what I told you? That our own Adama that we know already is way better than this maiden from Uzono that we don't even know. At what I want him. We planned it together. They were the ones who asked me to come today. But you can see with your eyes that they are already marrying her to another man. Chai! Chim! Oh, dogu wala palabo! Was he gonna for pa? If any names will lezo, I put a give Hi! Ndubuzu of Umako. I apologize for my actions. I performed all the rituals I was meant to perform. I was even blessed by the priest of Elulu. And he asked me to carry on. Why are they marrying my woman to another? Why? You see, she is married to another because she doesn't belong to you. That maiden is not yours. Adama of Umwako here is a woman you said you loved. Marry her now and be sure that your future is tied to the ones you ruin, not to the one that remains steadfast all her life. Ndubizu of Umwako, take my advice and make up your mind. I am a new man. I have been purified by the gods. Please accept me and I'll have reasons to leave. Please. I'm happy for you. Hmm? Adama. I'm happy for you. 